Mm -hmm. I heard a million. Now, That's I'm, all I needed to hear. I'm, I'm not even taking out my phone. I'm not taking out my phone because every time I convert, it's wrong because he already converted it. Mm -hmm. But he said Naira. So he didn't convert it. So tell me how much that is in USD. I'm not doing it. They already told us, y'all, get off of Google. <laughs> yeah, Stop using Google. Google. <laughs> we know the answer. Just ask us. <laughs> What's, What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shots React, and, and we're back, back with, with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> This video is about the cost of living in Eco-Atlantic City. I bet it's expensive though. Cost of living out here? Yeah. Asked me a lot of questions about how much it costs to live in a Atlantic city. What is the Atlantic city like? How many floors are they building? How many bridges does it have? What is happening? How much is the cost of land there? So in this video, I'm going to be answering all those questions and I'm also going to be taking you on a tour of a Atlantic city. Mm -hmm. So let's get straight into it. I don't know if you guys have heard of Odemaya. He's a Ghanaian YouTuber with like Millions, millions, millions of views, and it's currently here with me. Like when you are short and you meet tall people, you just have to increase your height. <laughs> it's yeah, it's good to see you. It's it's currently here with me. So, um, so we are doing like a tour of yeah, Atlantic. Atlantic because because I'm trying to show you because he makes a lot of videos about like countries and places that yeah. shows the beauty of those places that he makes a video about. So we're just trying to like go through, go around the Eco Atlantic and like have Nigerians a Nigerians are saying this place is the Dubai of Africa, so I'm here with the main guy himself and he's gonna take us around, man. Just uh, wait else, for who it. Else, who else is here with us? Uh, they, we, we have um, um, they are all phone bloggers. They are all phone bloggers, they are just bloggers. Look at them. I mean, I have an idea. <laughs> this is yeah, a phone vlog. Hey. Hey. You are here with M.M. Hey. and Mr. Kenyan YouTuber. She eating. Oh, this is a phone vlog. Hey. 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 So clearly this was made by oh, Atlantic so City for cancer for awareness water. month. Oh wow. And they were aquapods. So these aquapods are actually stuff put in water and they are meant to protect the city shore against like waves and stuff like that. So it's also like cancer awareness month. It's painted pink. A lot of people take photographs on it. So currently we're just gonna go around that's the ocean front in front of us right there. So cost of living at Eco Pearl Towers, which is the main residential towers at Eco Atlantic City. Cost of rental can cost you anywhere from 10 million naira to 20 million naira. And cost of buying a property I can cost you anywhere from a million dollars downwards or upwards, depending on- I heard a million. Now, That's now, all I'm, I needed to hear. I'm, I'm not even taking out my phone. I'm not taking <laughs> out my phone because every time I convert, it's wrong because he already converted it. Mm -hmm. But he said Naira. So he didn't convert it. So tell me how much that is in USD. I'm not doing it. They already told us, y'all, get off of Google. <laughs> yeah, Stop they using Google. Google. <laughs> we know the answer. Just ask us. Let us Put know. Put that in the comment section real quick cost of property and depending on the finishing of the it's property you buy, depending on it's either it's furnished or unfurnished so Cash. a lot of people buy apartments at go. eco pair this is for different purposes from residential to also but commercial. you can't but you can't beat that sunset though that's Man. nice but i'm gonna need some real dark um curtains it feel like it's i mean not feel. that's something <laughs> like it just come in the room and wake you up child ASAP. they look like it's there like real, right though. there like you know mm. the sun here just seems so far away yeah, don't yeah, look yeah. up at the sun it look like it's, it's right like in right front <laughs> it's your new tv set <laughs> blinding 
job purposes. Like listing it on platforms like Facebook.ng and giving it out a short lead apartments for people who may not want to buy but also want to experience what it feels like to stay at Eco Atlantic City. Also, if you want to rent for a day, a short lead apartment at Eco Pell Towers. It can cost you anywhere from 100,000 naira to 200,000 naira for a night. Spending the night at Eco Atlantic City is pretty awesome. When you take a look at the apartments, the state of the art finishing, there's 24 hours electricity. There's so much attention okay. to detail when you talk about the Eco Pell Towers. So much attention to detail. And this video is not sponsored by Eco Atlantic or Eco Pell. These are just my own personal opinions. Going to Dubai actually opened up my eyes to a lot of things and looking at the Dubai Marina which bears a similar resemblance to what Eco Atlantic is doing. Mm -hmm. You still got everything in the world. <laughs> we are still the day. Who like her, you know? Um, and that team is behind the camera. She just got to 10,000 views on Instagram. Mm -hmm. on, sorry, on YouTube. <laughs> and in another episode of this, she's going to tell us how she grew. Let me show people your face so that it's in the way. But like you don't see inside hey. that car. Okay, okay, she can help out. How do you go on YouTube though? Well, what was it? was one word for going on YouTube? 10,000 subscribers. Consistency. Yeah. That's it. That's all. That's it. <laughs> what am I? Yeah. I am Maya. I am Maya. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? You know, the first time I came here, I came alone. I felt like they didn't want me to do anything, but I'm here with the mastermind himself. And I'm moving like a boss today. <laughs> like you own the place. Exactly, I'm going to every corner today without preparing of recording. I, yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of shots here today. Mm. <laughs> but it's beautiful, it's really beautiful. Like, the people behind this whole architecture is beautiful. Take the process. Mavic Pro 2. Can it go? Man, I can imagine. Go in that water. Yep. <laughs> I'll be hurt. Oh, I'll be hurt. Another thing people keep asking, how much is the land at the Quadland City? That's if I have money now, maybe I'll hit my 30 billion. How much is it gonna cost me to get a plot of land at the Quadland City? So if you check on the website of the Quadland City, which is where you can get most of this information directly from the source. Prices of plots located along the road and waterfronts are significantly higher 3, at two thousand five hundred dollars per square meter square and three thousand square meter respectively. Currently, market okay. prices show that the land in this exclusive enclave are now one thousand eight hundred dollars per square meter for inner city plots. When it comes to property market and when it comes to real estate, we all know the price is always changing. So the best bet is to contact the people directly if you are interested in getting property prices or if you are interested in buying the land at the Kuala City. Eco Alert City is going to be home to over 250,000 people mm, and it's cool. also going to provide jobs for a whole lot more. Another popular thing that Eco Alert City is known for are its events. Big, events. big events. From popular stars like David Doe, Whiskey, a lot of events happen here and this place pops, especially during the December. Tourism. Yes, tourism. You can't beat that when you have one of the biggest events popping off mm -hmm. every other day or such. Like, you know how y'all yeah. do it. But think about that. Like, tourism is a, yes, definitely, definitely attractive. That's a way to, you know, get the city popping. Mm -hmm. Especially because, you know, people, if they want to live there permanently or, you know, for a time, yeah. they can buy out the apartment. They don't have to rent it. So... They want to party, they know where to go. For they set real. up shop and everything. And then you're going to have all your big artists pull up, right? They're going to have so many cool events. Yes. going to bring in a lot of attraction. I, I like that idea. Yeah, entertainment and shopping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard that last part, right? Shopping. <sighs> My pocket's <laughs> large. Jesus. Weird. Another example is the just concluded VIP Moet event held at the Go Pair, which was filled to the brim with a whole lot of celebrities. Like, celebrities were everywhere, popping champagne, dancing by the pool. Like, it was a fun experience. And you can have a look from some of these clips, I'm sure you. Oh, this is where the stars yeah. are born. Right? They dressed in gold, baby. They dripped in gold. Mm-hmm.
y'all know we deal with copyrights. <laughs> yeah, so this one, this, this is my, must be where the millionaires come. They're just average people. Well, you know, I just, you know. With a little bit of coin. Just They're thinking. just people who want to have a good time. Just thinking, just thinking big. <laughs> you know. So guys, this is Miss Trudy and she vlogs mostly on her phone and she has so much subscribers so you guys should not, whenever you are trying to make content like don't just wait and say, start with what you have I don't have a camera so so, so just take what you have like when I was starting, oh my god my, my camera was just whack yani, oh my god, it's sad by the so sad my quality was just bad you know but i go i go improving you know because there are people who you don't have cash but you want to be a youtuber and your phone sucks just save and buy the small the phone you can get then go growing improving your phone get a camera then like the guy holding this camera oh my god he's so dope <laughs> what you guys need to see his set he has so many cameras we're all gonna get to that point one day so just start with what you have <laughs> and how long have you been doing youtube Years now. Two years. And you have <laughs> close to fifty thousand subscribers. Fifty. Oh, is it? Is it about fifty? Is it about fifty? Yeah. Over fifty. Oh. Is it about fifty now? <laughs> oh, it's God though. Okay, it's God. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we're currently on top of the canal. Look like no canal, like. Just bad. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, do you what do you think about? What do you think? What What is your general view on like if I to generally? Generally, I would say that the mastermind behind this is really good and great. Like uh, the architecture is beautiful, man. Because see, like it's like everything is here, man. Like the whole everything that a city needs is here, but it's just that like, it's gonna be expensive. Man. Yeah, expensive <laughs> city. It's gonna be expensive to live here. I don't think the the general public can. So, so I think I think generally what they did is they made like it's mixed use. Obviously, it's just like you're talking about New York. Yeah. For you to create a city like New York, obviously New York will be expensive because of the location. Okay. But I feel apart from even that, it's going to benefit a lot of people in terms of job creation. Okay. So even if you can't live here, you can work here. You can yeah. make use of your hotels, yeah. the entertainment facilities. The other one is also like fully. Not fully ah, sure. But, but, but uh, Apple One is an office on its own, right? Yeah, it's just is it, office. Is it only for... I thought it's only for Apple Atlantic. No, no, no. It's not only for Apple Atlantic. Oh, so if you want to buy... So if you want to buy... Oh, as an can, office? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can rent, no, I get it. It's part of it as an okay. office. Okay. It's, okay. it's, it's, the it's office a building spaces. built. Yeah. Yeah. Commercial commercial. Oh, okay. So you can come and rent, open your company there, have your office there. Maybe okay. rent like a floor. Right. So you can buy a floor, if possible, depending on what you want. Wow. Equal Land City is really the future of Nigeria and it is also a good addition to Africa in general. It also harbors a good investment opportunity for investors from all over the world. I just have this love for Equal Land City. If you notice, I do a lot of videos about them because I actually believe in the project. I think it would be good to just go ahead and invest in it now, knowing mm -hmm. that there's still a lot that they're putting into work right now to play. Yeah. Um, and just grab you a seat, ASAP, why not? Land, mm -hmm. homes, uh, office space, whatever mm -hmm. that is available, get your name out there in the, in the city and definitely yeah. start investing. I do like that, you know, if you cannot afford to live there, you can work there, you mm -hmm. can go to the events there and, you know, be a part of that life lifestyle. Like, although you cannot afford it right mm -hmm. now, that doesn't mean in the future you won't be able to afford it. But um, I think overall it'll be it'll do good for the tourism industry because we yeah. discussed this with you know our Nigerian supporters before that they felt like um, Nigeria is developed is still in the still development, development phases yeah. of their tourism industry, yeah. especially because they don't really preserve like all of the historical um, you know aspects of you know the bad stuff because mm -hmm. Nigerians don't like to, you know, dwell on the bad stuff. But um I feel like it's gonna do good for the tourism. Definitely. In yeah. in a city of this size and how they're making it the, the Dubai yeah, of Nigeria, I know that the security is gonna be, you know, up to par. 
Um, and it's going to bring a lot of people into Nigeria. So that's the good part about it. I believe so too. I, I like that. Ekwalandiki has a very lovely road network which consists of 14 bridges that link the city together. Another very interesting thing I love about Eco Atlantic City are the canals. These canals are beautiful. It has canals running throughout the city that is meant to be used for water transportation in the future. So there are going to be boats, kayaks. Yeah, I knew something was going to pop off. So it's going to have so like sweet. a mini Venice yeah. inside the city. This has not been done anywhere in Nigeria. And I'm sure even if it has been done in some few cities in Africa, which I don't know of, I'm sure there are going to be very few. This is a unique way of transporting people around the city. Another reason why I started doing YouTube was to change the narrative. A lot of people had this idea, which was surprising that people in Nigeria live in hot. The media has painted a bad picture about Africa to the world in general. Anything bad yes. that happens in Africa, it's blown out on media, it's everywhere. So one of the things we are trying to do is also to create content that makes people understand that a lot of development is going on in Africa, a lot of ideas, a lot of innovation, technological advancements are going on in Nigeria. And which is why on this tour with my brother with him. Lagos is one of the busiest um, cities in the world. In the world, world actually, yeah. And you know what makes Lagos busy? Because of this. See how we're stuck in the car for like over an hour, man. We are not oh, moving. No. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. And we are fighting for domination of our own space. See, see, oh, us. see this guy wants to enter. Oh. <laughs> see, he wants to enter. Hey, Abel, oh, you want to enter? Yeah. <laughs> see. Traffic in Lagos is not easy. It's not easy at all. <laughs> I, I watched somebody's video. He said he slept in, in, in a car for the whole day. I was like, ah, oh, come on. He's a Yeah, now I can... Now you can understand what I can understand, can understand what, what the way. guy... Man. Like everybody's struggling to go at the same Man. time. Like 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 that. That. But people have to understand that there is money in Lagos. That everybody is affording to buy a car. Yeah, so okay. that is one thing that you have to understand. In Nigeria, people buy. Bro, this is our five o'clock traffic. Yeah. This is when everybody getting off of work. Yeah. So I hear when you our five o'clock traffic, we taking the back roads and mm. we go through neighborhoods. There ain't no way we can get on that highway. It's we too are bad. avoiding the it's public. It's backed up. Hundred <laughs> percent. For real though, like it's yes. too many. Too many. One family can have yeah. like two or three cars. You see? At yeah, so that's one thing that is cost. Please reduce the uh, cars and buy private jets. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> or buy bikes. And buy private jets. Wow. It works. Check out all your channels. Which are yeah, bro, big. if I had a bike, we was going to be zipping right through all of that. <laughs> you was going to be mad at us. Because look, we gonna one would have been in the front. <laughs> I would have been pushing. Y'all have been in the front. Been all right. Well, that would be a good option to get the, the cars off the road. Huh? I mean, yeah. I don't know if Africa would ever do that, though. Like, I don't know. They, they, they busy. It's busy. healthy, though. It it's is healthy. very healthy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Bro, it's about to go up. Yeah, let us it's know if you've Bob been Nigeria. there before. Mm -hmm. And what was your experience? I would love to know that. Yeah. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our joint feature to become a VIP member of the channel. Sending your reaction request through our description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.